All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth, let's see. Moment of truth. Well, what'd you do wrong, Ada? What did we do wrong? Hello, we're back at Apps Electronics and I am doing the introduction inside because it's raining and it's dark out. Plus, I got a new camera. Um, today, we're supposed to work on a Civic, so I don't know why these cars are in here, but let's just go ask Ada himself, wherever the hell he is. What are you doing? We're supposed to be working on the Civic today. I'm going to work on the Civic. I am working on this Cobra right now. So I'll... Why are you yelling at me? I have sensitive feeling. Feeling. I have one feeling left. You only have one feeling left. We should probably do a video on this car one day. Uh, yeah, we should. It's a really cool car. Anyway, besides the point, we need to be working on the Civic. All right, all right. It's time. It's time. Everybody's waiting. What's next coming on the Civic? I'm going to show you right now. Well, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to put in this really cool camera. We're going to go back right here and Gary's going to insert me in my Corvette right here. Here? Right here. Right here. Yeah, you're going to insert okay, like right. a video of us in my Corvette with the rear view camera. Remember that? We did that? Yes, yes, I remember. Yeah. So we're going to do that insert it right here. This is the mirror on my car, right? Yep. It's like a regular rear view mirror that you would get in any car. Except for when you flip the switch, it's a monitor. Oh, look at that. Well, That's cool. It's cool. But the issue is, I need this in my Civic. You need this in the Civic. So yeah. what are you gonna do about that? I'm gonna show you. My friends at Vox, they got a mirror that will work in any car, just like my Corvette. Check it out. So this mirror is made by a company called Gentech. And the mirror looks eerily familiar. Yep. Check that out. So you got your big mirror piece, the cables that come off so you can hide it. Um, and it also comes with some really other cool stuff. You can add a reverse camera, which is different from the other camera, and I'll explain that too. Now, you're gonna get all these little pieces of plastic that come with the mirror, and they all work a little differently, and I'll, I'll explain that when we start to do the install. So you get all these plastic guys. Look at all these plastic guys. Cool. You're gonna get your harness. This is gonna be the harness that goes to the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. You got the Gentex full display mirror, the manual, the manual, the manual, yeah. the manual, manual, the manual. You got the terms of agreement for installing it. Kind of tells you everything there. And finally, the installation instructions. And it's going to tell you all the different types of tools that you require: Loctite, an Allen wrench, torque wrench, a uh, wrench, a plastic pry tool different kinds of screwdrivers that you're gonna need. Uh, and it's gonna tell you everything you need to do to install it in different installations. Now, one of the very interesting things about this part is the camera. And the camera is a little bit interesting because this is the camera. If you look at it, you'll see it's got a very odd shape. But that's when all these plastic guys come into play. They have different angles for different types of installations. 
right? So you have to measure the bracket um, and then install the camera in the bracket so it has a place to, uh, to view the back of the car. And all these things have all these different types of brackets, mounts, and stuff like that. So you see this, you have some instruction manuals on how to install everything, how long the adhesive should take to dry, stuff like that. And then this is actually pretty cool. It says the, the pinout for all of the mirrors, um, wires on the Molex plug. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install this in my car. And you, the watcher of this video may not know about our competition civic and this is the first video in the series for the competition civic it's going to be creature comfort so we're going to start with this why are you still filming me again weirdo so now we're going to put that which you just saw in my corvette in this civic all right so you guys remember from my last video um, about the Civic, not the last video, because the last video was probably something not to do with Civic. We haven't done a Civic video in a long time because we're behind the Civic video. But the last Civic video, I broke the mirror. And that's because I wanted to make sure that this mirror and the new mirror would work together with the same mount, but it's not going to work with the same mount. So this video, we're going to show the installation of the mirror that I have for this car that is out of a Corvette like my other car. So here we go. I'm gonna throw this. I missed. So this cool mirror, this edgeless frame mirror that we have from Vox, the guys at Vox, thank you Al Fontaine and group for sending me this to put in my Civic. I appreciate it and we are going to do some badass shit today with it. First we have the mirror. We have the instructions. Um, and if you guys don't know Gentex, Gentex is a premier uh, uh, manufacturer of some badass equipment. Uh, and we are going to install this today. So this will go on the inside of the black glass and then we're gonna have a camera thing you run around. It gives it a much cleaner look. Yeah, it does. All right, so it looks like there are multiple harnesses that go into this what they are and I think this is a camera input. We're going to do a front camera because the car's low as fuck and we don't want our low ass car to hit curbs and be disgusting. Alright so first thing we're going to talk about is you get these three different cables and these are called Farquhar connectors. Farquhar. Farquhar. Farquhar connectors and what they are are connectors that connect between the front camera here, you plug this guy into here like this, just like this, and the rear camera in the back, just like that, right? So we have a couple different sizes. I'm going to start with a smaller size because I do not want like extra wire hanging out. So there's three cables that came with it. I tried all three. This one is not long enough, not even by any stretch of the back. This is the medium sized one, this is what we're gonna use. This long one will go into storage because one day we will need a long ass Farquhar. I said it, Farquhar connection. So here we go. So we're gonna start by tucking this in very neatly into this panel. So kind of silly to do this because this whole headliner is gonna come out at some point. We're gonna have to put a new headliner in. All right, so I'm old and fat. And I'm going back here. Oh, God. Uh, 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 all right. This is the center of the back. We know that. So I'm going to make a provision for this to come out right here, making sure that it doesn't interfere with a clip like that. And so we lift this extra that can go kind of down and yeah. Just like that. So you don't leave the just dry like that, but we're doing this just for the fact that we want to just know where the extra camera is going. 
in the back here so that we can make an adjustment. So the next thing we're going to do is find the camera and figure out the angle of this guy. All right, this is the angle cube, okay, from Mobile Solutions. Angle cube. And listen, this is one of the most annoying things about working in a shop like this, where somebody uses a tool and it's out of battery and now you can't find batteries and we don't have the batteries, it's 10 o'clock at night or whatever like that and you just don't have the battery. But I have this. Cool thing about the angle cube is there's no batteries. You're gonna plug this guy in and you're gonna charge it with a USB, just like this. Do this, and we're gonna plug it in, and it will charge these. Look at that. It's saying all kinds of crazy stuff, but more importantly, it's charging right now, so. What is that exactly for? Well, this is to find the angle of something, right? So, let's let it charge up for a little bit, and then we'll come back and show you what it actually does. doing that thing with the video thing again. Yeah, like, I think if we're done and you're just gonna stop and you keep recording. You gotta make sure because sometimes you, you end up continuing your talking. So. What do you mean? I'm just saying we'll come back. Okay. Some of you things are. You, you keep making, like, why do you keep doing? I don't know, what, you, grab your hand movements. What, you're looking at my balls. No, no, grab your hand you're movements. You're looking at my balls. That's what you're doing. This is a family show. Why are you still recording? So, oh, so we're back in the car. We're back in the car. So after there's a lot of things going on here. There'll be a part two to this video that's not really part two, it's just kind of like how we're gonna mount it because the mounting in this car is from the headliner, from the roof of the car. And the the old mirror that I broke broke uh would stay here. So what's gonna have to happen is we're gonna have to build a part that will stay here, come down, and then um have a provision for the actual uh new mirror uh and the way i want to do it is i kind of want to keep this the same but we're not there yet to that point but we do have an obligation to this manufacturer to make sure that their in camera is installed and we have a great video showing people how it works and how it's installed so we will do the video now and then we will do the video for the 3d portion of it later so wow, wow. it's like a lightsaber yeah, it's like a lightsaber. What I have to do is I have to get a fish tape because it's a long way. All right. All right. Physical activity sucks. All right. Or you take off the side thing. And that's what I'm going to do. Take off the fucking side thing because this is not working very easily. So I'm going to take off the side thing and I'll be able to go down. Okay. So it's going to be way easier. And it's just literally one screw. So. Let's do that. Let's do that. One little itty bitty screw that's over here that I have to take out. Go back together. Because we might need a little more wire on that. But what we're going to do right now is they have these female connectors on the ends here, okay? And what you have here is you have a camera input for a second monitor. That monitor, well, you'll kind of see what happens. Uh, and then you have uh, input for like a reverse input, a ground, and a power for this input so that it will switch over on its own. But what we are going to do is ignore this purple wire. Uh, we're going to change this from a male to a female. These cars have uh, an ignition input um, on the fuse box where you can just cut this off and you can just use the ignition and then we'll ground it under underneath down here. Uh, make a really good ground and kick panel so that this all will fire up um, and then we'll fucking install the cameras all right so we have this little connector that changes from positive to negative and from positive to negative from male to female and i just need to cut this off make this connection here and then slide it in there make our ground and then we actually have power for the entire thing so i'm going to do that now Make sure it's nice and tight. Got a tight connection. All right. Now, the reason that I'm using this is because, like I said, there is a provision in this car for ignition. So when the car turns on to the on position, uh, there is a, a basically a, a little slug that we're going to slide into this. It's going to give this power when the key's on. Now I just need to make a ground 
in the kick panel here. So I'll take this guy off. Grab those factory bolts. Look at that. It's like it was meant to be. We're in the hole. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. We're in the hole. Oh my gosh. And there's two ways to test it. One way is we can grab this wire right here, grab a meter and stick it in the hole and grab a ground and stick it in this hole and turn it on and see if we have power. And that's exactly what we're gonna do because if I don't do that, it's not gonna be power and then I'm gonna be pissed. Our power probe in here, look, nothing. That's great, that's the best news ever. It's actually good news. There we go. So now that's right, we have 10 volts with the car on. So you see the car's on? So it's a turn signal and it's giving us 10 volts. Okay? Not 12 volts because the car is not fully charged and this poor car sits a lot. So now we can actually kind of like make it all get put together. First, we gotta figure out the angle of this thing. Let's do it. All right, so we charged our angle cube up and now we're gonna kind of show you how it works. And we're gonna show you uh, in a very simple way where we are on this incline, so let's zero it out. We'll zero it, we zeroed it out at an angle just so I could show you how to zero it out. So we're on this flat angle and we're gonna zero it out. Now it's at zero. So basically we can adjust for the angle that we're looking for. And the reason that's important for this particular job is there are different angle, angled parts. See this? They're different, so let's zero it out. Let's zero it out this way. Zero it out. So the problem is, is this guy's moving a little bit. Let's zero it out. Zero, right? And now our angle here is 17 inches. So this is about 17 inch incline. What I'm going to try to look for here is the right angle and this looks like it's correct the right angle that this top piece will hit the headliner and this piece here hit the glass so i'll go in old man style in the back seat again i'm old and boom it looks like a mother freaking winner all right back to auto struggling oh, yeah. So we're gonna put this up here with some temporary tape. Taped up there temporarily so that we can see what the image is going to look like. Initially, I'm excited. The next couple steps are gonna be big steps for this car. Where we take the entire interior out and start doing the fabrication and the 3D scanning of the entire car. So it's gonna be big steps. All right, one more truth. Moment of truth, let's see. Well, Moment of truth. Well, what'd you do wrong, Ada? What did we do wrong? All right, so since it's nighttime, it's kind of hard to see. And uh, this is my little baby car Civic. I don't want to take it out in the street in the rain. So, Gary's gonna show you what it kind of looks like. Oh, yep, there you go, I see you. Is that better? Yep, I definitely, one second. All right, so it's daytime now, so we can see it better. But. Right, so we, we actually, now we can actually see how clear the image is. Um, and right behind us, we have Miguelito's S2000. Here's a really cool trick that you can do with this guy. We can pan up and down on the actual mirror. Right, so that's a giant ass stupid Honda wing. And you can kind of like get it in your view or get it way in your view, just depending on what, you, what you're trying to look at. So I thought it was really cool. You can also do uh, your red, blue, green 
um, color changes as far as like the picture's image. So we're halfway finished with the installation and what we need to do next is the most important part to me, which is the front camera. This car I've ordered a carbon fiber front lip for and I wanna make sure that carbon fiber lip stays in one piece without any stress marks. One of the most annoying thing is to buy a really expensive part and just wreck it parking. Not wreck it like driving or racing, just parking. So next is the front camera, here we go. All right, so now we have our front camera and we need to find a really cool place to put this that's kind of discreet and I'm thinking right here under the bumper. Three, pilot zero, hole. One, pilot eight, hole. Seven, two. <clears throat> one, happy. Into the car. Three hours later. All right. So Three hours later. Three hours later, we figured it out. Okay, so this mirror has dual monitor capabilities. Like we were talking about, we put a camera on the front of the car. You got to turn on, you've got to turn on the actual uh, other input. So we tried doing it by the instructions. The instructions say, flip this to forward and then count to 23 to 27 seconds and it will toggle that on or off. The problem is we weren't counting enough. So what I suggest is doing what we're gonna do, and that's this. Hey Siri, make a timer for 24 seconds. So we're gonna start this. And when this hits zero, we're gonna have this toggle to on, and Gary's gonna show you. When we hear, we're gonna have to hear the uh, timer go off. Now we're on, you see that toggle's on? Okay, now what we're able to do, we can put this back into monitor mirror mode and obviously you can't see anything, it's nighttime, shut up. Um, what you're going to do is, um, you're gonna make it so that you can actually toggle that on and off. Now, what we got going on in here is a car that I do not want to add another button uh, to toggle the front camera on and off. So what I've done is I went and I found that my cruise control, if we go to this green wire here, when I hit the cruise control button, let me ground this guy. And here, Gary, you can look at my meter here. It's at 10 volts because the, the, the light is on here. Once that light turns off there, we get no voltage on the actual meter. So what we've done is, now you're watching that camera, we're gonna, We've already stripped this wire back because by the magic of television, we're gonna connect our wire, that's our toggle wire, to this guy, just like this, okay? And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to hit this button here, the cruise control button, and we're gonna get our front image. How cool is that? Now, this is something that you can do, and I thought about this because you have this trigger this trigger that you have, you can actually add more cameras to this. You can do a blind spot camera on either side of the car. You can do another camera in the rear. You can do all kinds of crazy crap with this um, because this is another input. It's not dependent on the main screen. So the main screen you could still have, which is your rear view camera, your rear view monitor, and then you can do right left on this guy. This is really freaking cool. And this is something that you can add in a lot of different cars and just with a little imagination and a VS41, you can make it do whatever you want. A VS41 is a, another part from another manufacturer, but I'm sure Vox makes a multiple camera switching unit that we can put into play here. So it's really cool that we can do that. So super duper innovative stuff from Vox and Gentex. Thank you guys. Um, we're going to, the next video you're gonna see, we're gonna print a mount for this, this monitor, so it goes kind of in the same place it's supposed to, but it has the same um, kind of a metal stationary mount that you're gonna uh, mount this guy to. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, see you later, bye.